Hey guys, on this video, we're looking at Volatility 25 Index and VEX 75 Index. So I'll start with Volatility 25 Index. So on the higher time frame of which is the daily, we have this double top area, this larger double top area around this point. And then if you look left, you'll see that we had this push to the downside, corrective move here. And then we had another push to the downside, which it created this ascending channel whereby it created the double top formation. And then that is where we are going to look for those selling opportunities is because we are following the overall order flow whereby we came from an impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, corrective move. So we're looking for those nice selling opportunities on volatility 25 so let's just look at the lower time frames and just to build and just try to build a picture whereby we can look for those nice entries so this is the low this is the low that's our target here and then we have the overall ascending channel around this point and then from this area to this area here you can just uh, try to make sure that you're using like the current most touches it doesn't matter that you have like price action falling out on that area as long as you have like most touches on the trend line it's fine and then after having that ascending channel, we have this double top area whereby the market can just push back to the upside, create the double top before selling off. So those are the confirmation entries that I'd like to use all the time in the market. So looking at the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, what we have guys is this double top formation that I talked about, like on the higher time frame. And then we had this push to the downside whereby it gave us like this corrective move here whereby you can just throw it out and then you'll see that we have a larger pattern in our in our hands and then we're looking for those nice selling opportunities on it but firstly we have to draw like this pattern here just to pattern separate like each and everything so we have like that uh, ascending channel here and then we have this area also being a some type of a retest something from this point to that point and then if you draw out like this pattern it will be some type of an expanding as i said and then I'll be looking for those nice saving opportunities at the top of the structure of widgets here. And then you can just remove like this ray line here. And then I'll be looking for those cells. Let's say we create like the third touch of which it will be here. And then I'll be looking for cells as a risk entry. And then your stop loss can be just above. You're targeting the lows. You're targeting the lows just like that. Sorry. You're targeting the overall 90% for about 21% if you take a risk entry at the top of the structure. And then if you try to refine this zone, what you'll see is that we have this break and a retest. Let me just remove this one here. So we have like this break and a retest around this point, just like that. And then this is the ascending channel that we have. If you refine everything to the current market structure, this is the pattern that we have on the four hour time frame. So we have this impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, corrective move here. And then we look for those nice cells. So you can just take a cell from this point to that point. The stop loss can be just above this area. And then you're targeting the overall 90% of this pattern here, of which is at around 4%. And then you're targeting the overall 90% of the outer structures for about 16%. So that is what I'm seeing on volatility 25 even on the one hour time frame if we check the hour time frame so if you check the hour time frame it all makes sense just because we had like some type of a break and the retest as i said then i'll just remove like these uh, analysis just to keep my charts clean and then we have this area there's a double top and then that is the overhead that i was talking about whereby you can have like the double top happening at at that area and then this is the flag that we have around this point and then if you're not into risk entries what you can do is that you can just place a sell stop just below your stop loss can be just above this area or at the lows here at the highs around this point here and then we target the same targets the 90 percent of this ascending channel and then the 90 percent of the outer structure for about 17 percent so that is it for volatility 25 index let's switch to volatility 75 index so on volatility 75 index what you can already see is that we are pushing to the downside guys we have the overall market structure showing us that we are selling as you can see here at the impulse corrective move impulse corrective move impulse corrective move impulse and then we had this corrective move to the upside and then what i was seeing is that we had like a few areas that we can use just because we have like this area here as our overall break and retest just because we came from the cell and then we come back to retest in a form of a lower high 
and then we expect the lower low to happen around this point so we are just following the overall market structure so let me just remove these here and then another scenario that we have is this ascending channel whereby it made like some type of a head and shoulders just because this is the area that we are using at the moment and then we have this as our left shoulder this is as our head and then this can be like the right shoulder to initially sell off so let's just throw out like this area also because the market is just playing around this area here we had like rejections happening around this point around the left as you can see here we had like rejections and then on the right also we had like some type of rejections happening so we can just draw out like this pattern here and then after drawing out like this pattern you can just use like that impulse down corrective move and then we expect that another impulse down and then this can be like the overall target if you want or you can just zoom out and look at the overall market structure if like there is a price action on the on the left so on my charts i don't have like any price action so just cater for the 90 percent and then let me just remove these and then on the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame what you can do is that you can just try and refine like this area here to this one and this one to the other one just like that so we have like the pattern here that we can use like as our entry and then this is the area whereby the market has been rejecting for quite a while and then what i'll do is that i'll just cater for it just like that at the top of the structures or just cater it for for around this point here and then we have this pattern on its own and then what i'm what i'm seeing is that we created like this double top formation by as i said we came in form of an of a push to the downside and then this is the corrective move to initially sell off and then most of the time what i want to see is the market creating like third touches so in this instance let's say we just correct reach the first touch here second touch and then we can just sell from this point up until we reach like the bottom of the structure for example so let's say we had like this type of movement happening we sell 90 percent the first target would be there and then the overall target would be at the lows as i said so let me just remove this one here so as you can see this uh setup looks very nice but so far we still have like a lot of confluences that we want to see before we can just try and execute on it so let's switch to the hour time frame so on the hour time frame what we had is this ascending channel here a pattern within a pattern to be precise so this is the area whereby we got like that ascending channel and then try to make sure that you are refining like your patterns for the most touches and make sure that it makes sense to you and then you can just try and work with like the patterns or you can just execute very nicely flawlessly without hesitating whenever you get like a signal on your setups so this is the pattern that we had like we had like this ascending channel as i said from this point to that point we have the push down come back retest and then we've got like those nice selling opportunities so what you can do is that you can just wait for the market to give you like another confluence for you to take another entry on this one let's say we get like a uh, market pushing up reaching the top of the structure and that is when you can look for those nice cells around that point so yeah guys that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another video make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell